Akorja, on behalf of Sinn Féin, I want to thank you for the invitation to join with you, Basque comrades, here today. Firstly, let me reaffirm Sinn Féin's solidarity with the Basque struggle for independence and national sovereignty. And as Irish Republicans, we stand in complete solidarity with your political prisoners and their loved ones who wait for them. At this stage of your peace process, at this stage of your peace process, it is essential that all political prisoners must be released. Presua Calera Gora Ushkaleria. Comrades, it is an honour to stand before you today as a representative of the largest political movement on the island of Ireland. In 1999, when I was first elected to my local council, we had one member in the parliament in Dublin. Fast forward to 2022, and it makes me proud to say that we are now the largest political party in the Dublin parliament. Successive opinion polls confirm our continued growth as the largest political movement in Ireland, North and South. In the very near future, Ireland could have its first left-wing Republican and indeed female head of government, Sinn Féin President Mary Lou Macdonald. This, this could be allied with our Vice President Michelle O'Neill becoming the First Minister of the Belfast Assembly after this May's elections in the north of our country. And I can assure you, if we are leading a Dublin government, it will be a government for workers, for families, for farmers and fishermen, for those who are trying to put a roof over their family or deciding whether it is more important to heat their home or put food on the table. It will not be a government for the elites that successive Irish governments have defended for decades. It will be a government built on the principles of the 1916 proclamation, principles of social equality and economic justice, and the fundamental principle of Irish unity. When we are in government, the one issue that we will have front and centre is the reunification of our island. 100 years of partition has denied the Irish people the right to reach our full potential as a society and an economy. The last few years have seen Brexit and COVID accelerate the calls for unity. Debates and conversations have become the norm across the island. The conversation is not if, but when. The current Dublin government, as well as the European Union, need to be part of these conversations to ensure that they are prepared for unity. We are committed to ensuring that people have their say by popular vote, but we must plan well in advance for an inclusive and progressive Ireland for all. Friends, be assured, that Sinn Féin is preparing for the reunification of our country because a new and united Ireland is coming. Bi Baraka Bat, thank you, Eskerek Ashko.